Hi everybody. So that uh, last video I did, we used white cell activator with the cuneg and the teals. And this time I want to try it the same colors, but with a black cell activator and show the difference. I think this would be very stunning with a black cell activator. So this is the QNAG. This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. It's a pricey little tube of paint, but you only use a little dot. You, um, a little bit to make your paints and it just goes with everything. It is gorgeous. So pretty. So I splurged and I bought a tube to see how I liked it and I love it. I'm so glad I did. Uh, that was, uh, let's see, what did I put down there? I put down Guatemalan green, this little piggy tail feather. And this last one is uh, Deco Art Extreme Aquamarine. And if you get a chance and you didn't see my last video, take a look at it. Um, I'm really glad that I did it and realized what I was doing. The whole point of it is, is... It's really good to make videos of your paintings because you can look back at the ones that worked really well and see what you did and compare them to those that didn't work really well and see what you did there. And then you can determine, oh my gosh, I've been blowing too close or I haven't been using enough cell activator or whatever the case may be. But it's an easy way to... Um, to see what you've been doing wrong. You kind of slide backwards into bad habits. You don't realize you're doing it. And those videos sure help you determine that. So I'm using my little leaf blow, my little mini world smallest blower. Kind of going out in a circle from far away. And then I'm coming across the cell activator. Now this is being persnickety. And I also don't like the fact that I'm using my um, color place. And this color place has thinned out somehow. I'm about to chuck it all because my past few um, blooms have not worked really well. And the only thing that has changed is I switched back from PPG to Color Place and it is giving me fits. All right, so we're going to give this some some swirls, I think. Get a paper towel. I 
I really do like this Cunag in the teals with the black cell activator more. Much more stunning. I hate to mess up that center. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm quitting right there. That's the other thing. You got to know when to quit. Just getting some paint on the corners just to help it come off and get to the corner. And it will. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, this is pretty. See what I mean about that cuneg? It's a gorgeous color. Especially with these teals. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful one. And the black is just so... I love black cell activator. I really do. People say, why do you use black? You know, people that aren't artists. And it's because it just gives so much more of a contrast. It is gorgeous. So we're going to get that off. Let me get ready to get this off of here. And then I think, oh yeah, that's pretty. I hope you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So I'm going to take this off. I'll put it on my little tray with my two little cups on it. Get it out of the way. And I will show you the difference between the black and the right in a second black and the white <laughs> in a second i broke this up into two videos but i'm doing them within five minutes of each other so i'll show you the wet results from the last painting and from this painting we're gonna do one more real quick with the black Okay. So as I was saying, learning from your mistakes, watching those videos that you might do, even if you don't put them up on YouTube or put them up and you can, I know there's a way to just not let anyone see them. You could just have a YouTube channel just to store your videos and um it, it just going back i realized i wasn't using as much paint as i usually do i wasn't i was blowing from too close i was blowing from too far i saw all kinds of things that i was doing wrong from what i know are the best practices for a bloom so ooh. Oh, I just almost spilled my cell activator. So going back and looking at one that worked really well was a big help for me. It refreshed my memory. Way more cells than I have been getting.
also learned that I was rushing things. I wasn't allowing enough time for this to develop. And therefore that affects how many cells I get. And that is the one thing about doing videos. You're kind of aware, you know, people, a couple people have made comments on my video. Oh my gosh, you took five minutes just putting the paint down, you know. Well, you can speed ahead if you'd like. Skip that part and get to the real nitty gritty. But you can't rush it. You, you just can't. So, just because I'm, oh, this is pretty. Just because I'm doing a video, I tend to rush, and you can't. So, here we go. Oh, look at those cells. That is gorgeous. So, we're going to spin. I do skip ahead in a lot of the videos that I watch. Usually I'm skipping to the part where they're blowing out the bloom so I can see how they do it. Oh wow, this is beautiful. I want to get it to go that way a little bit. But I will say, starting videos and putting them on YouTube was the best thing that I did because it helped me see what I was doing wrong and what I was doing right. So this, I love this. Let me check my edges. They are all good. So let me get my tray and then I'm going to show you. We're going to compare the black cell activator to the white cell activator. And you can see how different it is. So here's the black. Black. Okay. Beautiful. Just so stunning and such a contrast. And then here's the white that I just did. more lacing more beachy looking but more lacing and not as vivid so i really prefer the black i think it, it's it's a much prettier result now if you're looking for a beachy look then yeah i like the white but usually i like the black so hope you learned something Hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on the video. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.